Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? My bad. I'm trying to get it together. All right. There we go. Um, happy Tuesday. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Um, glad to see you all back here this morning. So look, yesterday I talked about the law of diminishing intent, right? And for those of you guys who missed yesterday, let me go ahead and just read that just to kind of catch you up on that. Um, so the law of diminishing intent says that the longer you wait to do something that you should do now, the greater the odds that you will never actually do it, right? So the longer you wait to do something you should do now, the greater the odds that you will never actually do it. And so what we talked about yesterday is the fact that this is so true, right? Sometimes you're so excited about something. You're just super excited, but you don't execute, right? You don't execute on the plan. You know, especially in the beginning of the year, people have New Year's resolutions. They're going to do all these different things. They're so excited. They're pumped up, and then they never start, right? Or they start, and they do it for a week, and then the excitement dies down. But today, we're talking about those who just don't start at all because you have all these good intentions. You have all these ideas. You have all these dreams, you may even have a plan, but the problem is you don't put it into action, right? So yesterday I said I was going to share with you three ways to avoid falling into this trap of the law of diminishing intent, right? So yesterday I shared with you that the first thing that you should do if you don't want this to happen to you is don't wait, right? Don't wait and for the conditions to be perfect before you start on something, okay? And if you missed yesterday's video, I encourage you to go back and check that out. So today... Um, the next thing that I want to share with you, number two, and like I said, I shared number one yesterday, so don't try to say, why did she start with number two? Because that's where we are at this point, okay? So number two is to have a sense of urgency, right? Now, I know yesterday I said, don't wait. Today I'm saying have a sense of urgency. So you need to live life with a do it now mentality, right? And you need to um, follow this mentality with everything that you do, okay? So yesterday we were talking about not waiting for the perfect conditions to start this new goal or to start this big project or to join this business. But what I'm saying is even with the little things in life, you need to have a sense of urgency, right? You need to have that do it now mentality, okay? So let me give you all an example. Now, how many of you guys sometimes will do your laundry, right? You wash the clothes, you put them in the dryer, but you're like, I'm going to fold them later, right? How many of y'all do that? Hit the like button if that's if you've done that before, right? Oh, none of y'all Y'all don't do that, so it's just me. Okay, that's fine. I don't do that anymore, guys, because I do have this do-it-now mentality, but I'm not going to lie. I was good for saying, you know what? I'll do that later. I don't have time right now. I'll fold my clothes later, but then when it's later on in the week and you need some socks and you going through the dryer trying to find two socks that match so you can get to work on time and you late because you couldn't find two socks, but if you would have did it when the dryer first stopped, when you were doing laundry on Sunday, you wouldn't have been looking for those socks, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, do it now. You know, if you have a sense of urgency about everything, then you won't procrastinate about anything, right? So you got to start having that, you know, you have dishes in the sink. Wash the dishes. Don't say, well, I'm going to do it in the morning. No, do it now, okay? So like I said, if you practice this with the little things, when it comes to a big decision, when it comes to, you know, making a, a major life change, you're not going to procrastinate because you're used to doing everything right now. Live life with a sense of urgency, okay? So, you know, some of you guys will walk right past something that needs to be done and you won't do it. You just walk right past a pile of dirty clothes on the floor. You won't pick them up and go put them in the dirty clothes. Do it now. Don't do it later, right? Or you're not even doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're like watching TV or something or scrolling on Facebook. Do it now, okay? So the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is stop making excuses. And I know that I've talked about this before, but this is very important when we're talking about avoiding this law of diminishing intent. Stop making excuses, right? Some of you guys, somebody will come up with an idea and they're like, hey man, I think we should get together and do this. And you think of 10 reasons why it won't work instead of thinking of reasons why it will work, right? You think of 10 problems with it. You want to poke holes in that theory instead of saying, you know what? I think you're onto something, right? Stop thinking about the problems and think about the solutions, right? Stop making excuses on why something won't work. Think about why it will work, right? And if something does happen, because a lot of you guys will do this, right? If you face some kind of obstacle or challenge, 
Some of y'all are like, oh, that was the sign I needed. I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing that, right? You get a flat tire on the way to work. I knew I wasn't supposed to go to work today. No, change the tire and go to work. What do you mean? That wasn't a sign. You just got a flat tire, right? And that's a small example, but honestly, sometimes you will face really big challenges when you're working on something. And that is, those challenges are not a sign that you don't need to be doing it. Those challenges are a test. You're going to face tests. You're going to face challenges. And those build your character, right? That's a test to see, are you going to push through or are you going to quit? You need to push through. Okay, so that way you come out with a testimony, right? Yes, I was trying to leave the house and the kids spilled the whole, the whole gallon of juice on the floor. So I had to stop and clean the juice up. I'm talking about the whole floor. Okay, look like the Red Sea because they spilled the whole gallon of juice on the floor. You had to clean it up. So yes, you were delayed, but don't say, well, since my child spilled the juice, I can't make it to the meeting, right? So then you got outside and the car wouldn't start. Okay, get your neighbor to help you jump the car. You just saying these things happen after. These things keep happening time after time, so I shouldn't do it. No, you should do it. So then you have a testimony. This happened, this happened, and this happened, and I still made it, right? So stop making excuses. You know, when I first started doing these videos, I was having trouble with the lighting in my car, and I could have said, maybe that means I don't need to do Facebook in the morning. No, I got a flashlight. Now y'all can see me, right? Come up with solutions rather than excuses, right? Some people spend more energy on excuses than execution, right i was thinking about that this morning i was like let me write that down that sounds good oh y'all don't think it sounds good well that's okay just just let me be great okay i thought it sounded good but seriously a lot of people spend so much energy on excuses why this won't work instead of just starting and executing their plan don't let this happen to you so guys that's essentially all i have for you all today remember if you want to avoid you know falling into the trap of the law of di um, diminishing intent if you want to avoid, you know, not doing the things that you really need to be doing, make sure that you don't wait. Make sure you live with a sense of urgency about everything. And make sure you don't make excuses. If you follow these three steps, you will be more effective. You will be more successful in the things that you're trying to do. All right? So, look, my name is Panik Singleton, right, from connectwithpanik.com. And I really appreciate all of you guys watching live. Leroy, good morning. India, good morning. It says there's somebody else on here, but... I don't, I don't know who it is, but good morning to you. Leave a comment, y'all. If y'all found value in this video, make sure you like, comment, and share. And come back and see me tomorrow morning. Um, come back and see me tomorrow morning. I'm here every day, Monday through Friday, um, just to give you guys some information, some information, inspiration to start your day off, maybe a little, a little motivation for you, right? So thank y'all for watching. Again, my name is Panique. Like I said, I see y'all tomorrow, okay? Y'all have a great day. And get off of Facebook. I tell y'all this every morning now. Y'all done got this message. I want y'all to get off of Facebook. And I want you to go out there and be great on purpose today. Alright? I know you can do it. I'll see you guys later.